हेलो एवरीवन टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज पैथोलॉजिक स्टेज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ जीआईटी पीटीएनएम एजेसीसी एट एडिशन कैप अप्रूव्ड पैथोलॉजिक स्टेजिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी स्टेजिंग ऑफ इसोफेगस सो एज इट इज पीटीएनएम स्टेजिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी पीटी कैटेगरी पीटी एक्स और पी टी नॉट असाइंड वेन वी कैन नॉट डिटर्मिन द पी टी कैटेगरी बेस्ड ऑन अवेलेबल पैथोलॉजिकल इंफॉर्मेशन पी टी जीरो वेन देर इज नो एविडेंस ऑफ प्राइमरी ट्यूमर पी टी आई एस वेन देर इज सीन हाई ग्रेड डिस्प्लेजिया और कार्सिनोमा इंस्टीट्यूट देन पी टी वन वेन द ट्यूमर इन्वेट्स द लैमिना प्रॉपरिया मस्क्यूलरिस म्यूकोजी एंड सब म्यूकोजा सो ट्यूमर एक्सटेंशन एप टू सब म्यूकोजा इज पी टी वन इट इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू टी वन ए टी वन बी वेन द ट्यूमर इनवेट्स लैमिना प्रॉपरिया एंड मस्क्यूलरिस म्यूकोजा इट कम्स अंडर कैटेगरी पी टी वन ए वेन द ट्यूमर इनवेट्स सब म्यूकोजा अप टू सब म्यूकोजा दैन इट इज टी वन बी PT1 when sub category cannot be determined so we can give PT1 PT2 when the tumor invades the muscularis propria and PT3 is when tumor invades the adventitia PT4 is when tumor invades the adjacent structures it is further divided into T4a and T4b when the adjacent structure includes pleura pericardium zygous vein diaphragm or peritoneum then it is t4a when aorta vertebral body or airways they are involved then ptb pt4 when sub category cannot be determined so pt0 when there is no evidence of primary tumor tis in situ T1 up to sub mucosa. T2 when muscularis propria is involved. T4 when adventitia is involved, and T4 when adjacent structures are also involved. P N category. P N not assigned when no nodes is submitted or neither any lymph node is found on gross examination. pn not assigned when it cannot be determined based on available pathologic information n0 is no regional lymph node metastasis n1 metastasis in one or two regional lymph nodes n2 when metastasis in three to six lymph nodes regional lymph nodes n3 more than equal to seven lymph nodes are involved or show metastasis so n0 no regional lymph node n1 one or two n3 three to six lymph nodes and n3 more than equal to seven lymph nodes show metastasis pm category metastasis category required only if confirmed pathologically not applicable pm cannot be determined from the submitted specimen and pm1 is when there is distant metastasis Now the PTNM staging of stomach. So first is PT not assigned when it cannot be determined based on available pathological information. T zero when there is no evidence of primary tumor. TIS carcinoma in situ or high grade dysplasia. PT one when tumor invades lamina propria, muscularis mucosi or sub mucosa. like in case of esophagus pt1 when tumor invades lamina propria or muscularis propria t1b when tumor invades sub mucosa pt1 when sub category cannot be determined pt2 when tumor invades muscularis propria a gastric tumor may penetrate the muscularis propria with extension into gastrocolic or gastrohepatic ligaments or into the lesser or 
greater omentum without perforation of the visceral peritoneum covering these structures so tumor is classified as t3 when muscularis propria is involved it is pt2 but if in case mus tumor penetrates muscularis propria with extension into gastrocolic and gastrohepatic ligaments without perforation of visceral peritoneum then it is categorized as t3 if there is perforation of the visceral peritoneum covering the gastric ligament or omentum then t4 pt3 when tumor penetrates the subserosal connective tissue that too without invasion of visceral peritoneum or adjacent structures and t4 is when tumor invades the serosa or visceral peritoneum or adjacent structures so pt4 it is further divided into a and b when tumor invades serosa then pt4a when adjacent structures are involved structures or organs they are involved then pt4b pt4 when sub category cannot be determined so the adjacent structures of stomach so the adjacent structures include spleen transverse colon liver diaphragm pancreas abdominal wall adrenal gland kidney small intestine and retroperitoneum the intramural extension to the duodenum or esophagus is not considered invasion of adjacent structures but classified using depth of invasion in any of these sites so the adjacent in adjacent structures the duodenum and esophagus they are not considered so t1 when tumor invades lamina propria muscularis propria and submucosa t2 when tumor invades muscularis propria but when muscularis propria tumor is up to muscularis propria but there is extension into gastrocolic and gastrohepatic ligaments or lesser omentum and greater omentum without penetration of visceral peritoneum then we can label it t3 or if there is perforation of visceral peritoneum covering the gastric ligament then t4 when tumor penetrates subserosal connective tissue that is t3 t4 when serosa is involved or other adjacent structures are involved now p in category metastatic tumor deposits in the subserosal fat adjacent to the gastric carcinoma without evidence of residual lymph node tissue they are considered regional lymph node metastases for purpose of gastric cancer staging so the deposits in subserosal fat without evidence of residual lymph node they are considered as lymph node lymph node metastases pn not assigned when no nodes submitted or they are found pn not assigned when they cannot be determined based on available pathologic information n0 when no regional lymph node metastasis is seen n1 metastasis in 1 to 2 regional lymph nodes n2 3 to 6 regional lymph nodes n3 more than 7 and n3 is further divided into a and b when 7 to 15 regional lymph nodes they show metastasis then it is n3a and when more than equal to 16 lymph nodes they are they show metastasis it is pn3b pn3 when sub category cannot be determined pm category pm1 when distant metastasis is seen now coming to small intestine pt category pt not assigned t0 no evidence of primary tumor tis carcinoma in situ or high grade t1 when tumor invades the lamina propria or submucosa it is further divided into t1 a and b when lamina propria is involved t1 a when submucosa is involved when tumor invades submucosa t1 b t2 is when tumor invades muscularis propria t3 tumor invades through muscularis propria into the subserosa or extends into the non peritonized perimuscular tissue mesentery or retroperitoneum without serosal penetration 
सो वेन ट्यूमर इन्वेट्स थ्रू द मस्कुलर इज प्रोपरिया इन टू द सब सिरोजा और इट एक्सटेंड्स इन टू द नॉन पेरिटोनाइज पेरी मस्कुलर टिश्यू इट इज टी थ्री फॉर टी थ्री ट्यूमर्स द नॉन पेरिटोनाइज पेरी मस्कुलर टिश्यू इज फॉर जुजिनम एंड ईलियम इट इज पार्ट ऑफ मिजेंट्री एंड फॉर ड्यूडिनम इन एरियाज वेयर सिरोजा इज लैकिंग पार्ट ऑफ इंटरफेस विद द पैनक्रियाज तो पी टी फोर ट्यूमेन ट्यूमर इन्वेट्स द सिरोजा और डायरेक्टली इन्वेट्स अदर ऑर्गन और स्ट्रक्चर्स अदर लूब्स ऑफ स्मॉल इंटेस्टीन मिजेंट्री ऑफ एडजस्टेंट लूब्स ऑफ बॉवल एंड एबडोमल वॉल बाई वे ऑफ सिरोजा फॉर ड्यूडिनम ओनली इन्वेजन ऑफ पैनक्रियाज और बाइलडक्ट पी एन कैटेगरी सेम एन जीरो नो रीजनल इम्फ नोट्स एन वन मेटास्ट्रेस इज इन वन और टू रीजनल इम्फ नोट्स एन टू मोर देन इक्वल टू थ्री लिम्फ नोट शो मेटास्ट्रेस पी एम कैटेगरी नॉट एप्लीकेबल वैन कैन नॉट बी डिटर्मिन फ्रॉम सबमिटेड स्पेसिमेंट एंड पी वन डिस्टो डिस्टेंस मेटास्ट्रेस नाउ द कोलोरेक्टल कार्सिनोमास पी टी कैटेगरी पी टी नॉट असाइंड पी टी जीरो वेन नो एविडेंस वेन देर इज नो एविडेंस ऑफ प्राइमरी ट्यूमर टी आई एस कार्सिनोमा इन सीटू और इंट्रामूकोजल कार्सिनोमा दैट इज इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ द लेमिना प्रॉपरिया विद नो एक्सटेंशन थ्रू मस्कुलरिस म्यूकोजा टी वन वेन ट्यूमर इन्वेट सब म्यूकोजा सो इन कोलोरेक्टल टी आई एस शो इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ लेमिना प्रॉपरिया ऑल्सो टी वन सब म्यूकोजा थ्रू द मस्कुलरिस म्यूकोजा बट नॉट इन टू द मस्कुलरिस प्रॉपरिया टी टू ट्यूमर इन्वेट मस्कुलरिस प्रॉपरिया टी थ्री ट्यूमर इन्वेट थ्रू मस्कुलरिस प्रॉपरिया इन टू पेरी कोलोरेक्टल टिश्यूज T4 फोर ट्यूमर इन्वेड्स विसरल पैरिटोनियम और सिरोजा और इन्वेड्स और एडहेयर टू एडजेंट ऑर्गन और स्ट्रक्चर टी फोर इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू ए एंड बी टी फोर ट्यूमर इन्वेड्स द सिरोजा इंक्लूडिंग ग्रॉस परफोरेशन ऑफ द बॉवल थ्रू द ट्यूमर एंड कॉन्टिन्यूस इन्वेजन ऑफ द ट्यूमर through areas of inflammation to the surface of visceral peritoneum when tumor invades through the serosa including gross perforation of bowel through the tumor it is t4a t4b is when tumor directly invades or adhere to the adjacent structure direct invasion in t4 includes invasion of other organs or other segments of colorectum as a result of direct extension through the serosa as confirmed on microscopic examination so invasion of other organs or other segment of colorectum as direct extension through serosa then tumor adherent to the or other organs or structures grossly they classified as t4b if they are adherent when we receive jumbled up masses they adhere to each other however if no tumor is present in the adhesion microscopically then classification should be t1 to 4a depending on anatomical depth of the invasion so in that case we will not give t4b pn category pn0 no regional lymph nodes n1 metastasis in 1 to 3 regional lymph nodes n1 further into a and b when one lymph node is involved then a Two to three lymph nodes are involved. It is one B. No regional one C. No regional lymph nodes are positive, but there are tumor deposits in sub serosa, mesentery, non peritoneal, pericolic, or perirectal, meso rectal tissues. N one sub category not determined. N two more than equal to four lymph nodes. N two A four to six lymph nodes, and N two B more than Seven lymph nodes are involved. PM category. PM one metastasis to one or more distant sites or organs or peritoneal metastasis is identified. It is divided into A, B, and C. A when one site or organ is involved without peritoneal metastasis. One B is metastasis to two or more sites without peritoneal metastasis. And one C is metastasis to peritoneal surface alone or with other site or organ metastasis. thank you very much